This week has seen uh, the schools go back in Glasgow and it's uh, great to welcome many new uh, young children uh, to school for the first time. I was out in uh, Garrow Hill uh, yesterday and saw many families um, with their kids and taking photographs uh, because it was the first day of school which was uh, really nice. On the downside is the fact that Glasgow City Council has withdrawn a lot of the school buses uh, and I think this is uh, quite ridiculous really and uh, youngsters are so okay at this time of year but in the winter uh, relatively young children are going to be have walking quite long distances uh, along very busy roads. Um, so the council has been adamant that they will not give way on this um, but I'm very glad to see that the SNP group in Glasgow City Council have said that if they do take power uh, at any point then they will reinstate these buses uh, for both primary and uh, secondary school children. And speaking of the council, it has to be said that uh, the council by-elections that were held on the 6th of August uh, were all tremendously successful for the SNP, which is great, and particularly in Carlton, uh, which is in this constituency. Uh, Greg Hepburn is the new councillor to replace Alison Thulis, who became an MP. Uh, so it's looking very, very positive for the SNP. I do want to thank people who have been supporting us uh, and the tremendous number of uh, members uh, that the SNP now has. Uh, and the next election coming up is for the Scottish Parliament next May and uh, we'll look forward to that.